intelligence report had indicated that some insurgents were using Farao Tal village to hide their hostages. This was of interest because of a downed Nigerian Air Force pilot. In order to ascertain the position of a pilot, an intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance mission using the Segumi unmanned aerial vehicle was launched. The mission and flight parameters of the unmanned aerial vehicle were being monitored and controlled at the ground control station by internal pilots. The Segumi unmanned aerial vehicle is on its way to the mission area. At the area of interest, the Segumi unmanned aerial vehicle began to loiter well out of sight and earshot of anyone at the village. After several hours of surveillance, the arrival of the downed pilot and his captors in a convoy of Hilux vehicles and motorcycles was observed. Having brought the hostage to their holding location, the insurgents could be seen celebrating their exploits by driving excitedly round the village. Aerial shots revealed that Farauta village had just over a dozen buildings with two fenced compounds. It was confirmed that the hostage was being held in the fence compound north of the village. Based on intelligence provided by the Segumi unmanned aerial vehicle, the special forces prepared to conduct offensive action against insurgents to rescue the captured pilots. The unmanned aerial vehicle helped the special forces plan the rescue operation by providing layout of the village, exact location of the hostage, number of enemy combatants, their disposition, weapons and behavioral patterns. The special forces began a systematic clearance of buildings in the village using stealth and suppressing the threats. While the rescue operation was ongoing, the Segumi unmanned aerial vehicle remained overhead keeping a watchful eye on the assault as well as the advancing assault element eventually isolated the actual building where the hostage was held. They neutralized the armed insurgents and freed the hostage.
The special forces subsequently consolidated and reorganized before moving the freed hostage in a protective diamond formation to a helicopter extraction point. Having successfully assisted in the attainment of the mission objectives, the Segumi unmanned aerial vehicle returned and landed safely.